Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with day seven of the December daily journal and look at us, we made it a whole week. So that's exciting. First, let's say hi and hugs. And these are the gals who commented on my little um, Facebook, I think it was Junk Journal Junkies uh, chat group that I posted an ephemera, um, pile that I had made and they commented on there and I don't think I've said hi and hugs to them before. So Anna Maria, Dawn, Lorraine, Nisi, Priya, Nancy Lynn, Jill, and Marlene. Hi and hugs and thank you for your nice comments. So first of all, before we get going on page, um, the page for December 7th, I have to show you my little basket. Now I do still have some stuff to work on, but look, my my sack is empty that had the stuff that was just ready to be finished off. So I wanted to show you a few things. So I um, I did lots of journaling cards. Uh, there's there's quite a few duplicates in there. I did some tickets, some bunny tickets, some tickets with a little saying on them, some bunny journal cards, and lots of flowers, lots of flowers. I did a lot of stamping with flowers in, in this batch and did some um, little fancy cuts on the edges too. So have that batch ready to go. And then I also did a whole bunch of Tiffany stamped cards and what I did was just put some um, embellishment either at the bottom or the top on these so they are ready to go into journals as pockets or journaling cards either one and I thought I'd set aside the green ones and then this red one for just in case we want them for the December daily so I'll set those aside I love that one um, and a couple blue ones, one with lace at the top, one with lace at the bottom, a little white lace at the top and a couple with peach colored lace at the bottom. So that, that felt good. That's a bunch of pockets ready to rock and roll. And then I'll drop them all on the floor. Uh, <laughs> gosh. Okay. Then, um, some tags. And I really just inked around those. They were all kind of ready. <laughs> I had a little difficulty with my vintage photo. I refilled it with walnut stain. So I've come up with a whole nother color on my stamp pad, but just did some journaling cards and did a little bit of edge punching and corner punching on those. So those are all ready to go. Then the other thing was um, a lot of little words and definitions and and such on cloth and on coffee dyed file folders. So I'm going to keep those out as we're working on the December daily because I might want them. But these can all be, let's see, these are Christmas ones. We're going to toss those in the Christmas pile, but then these can all be set aside. I just had to share with you that I really worked down my pile here and I might this afternoon work some more on that. I don't know. So I've got, I've got with what I did the other day, quite a pile of done ephemera. So that makes me super happy. Okay. December daily time. So I need to catch you up because I did a couple things on day six. What did I do? Oh, I wanted to show you that I did journal on the back of this. Um, I think I showed you that I put some stickers on and stuff, but I, I want to do something on this tag. Um, one of my sub shell it was shell she said why don't you put some tim holtz people on there and i'm like well yeah that's what i need to do so i have this pack of 
Christmas paper dolls. So let's see if we see one that speaks to us. Look at this little girl. This little girl is cute in her little, her little muff. And oh my gosh, she's cute. She's a little too tall though. So we're going to have to, she's close. I should have moved up that Christmas a little bit. I mean, maybe this won't work, but, but I thought it was a great idea. Anywho. So, well, that little girl's cute, isn't she? Yep. Great idea, Shell. Great idea. Haven't even broken these out yet with the December daily. So, yeah, I appreciate that. That was that was a good idea. Oh, here's the little girl with a muff with in a little bit smaller one. Let's see. I just like her. I gotta go with her. Okay. Awesome. Put these back in here and then let's use a little art glitter glue on her. Get her put down on that tag. It was just such a good idea. Okay. There we go. Yeah, get her right about there. Yep, that's what it needed. It needed this cute little girl. <laughs> thanks, Shell. That was a great idea. Thanks for thanks for telling me that. Okay. So I think she doesn't have any glue sticking out that's gonna stick to the sack, so. We'll just put her in here. She can take her time to dry. Okay, and we're flipping over here to day number seven. Or as a good many of us thought, the second two of the month. <laughs> no, it's a seven. <laughs> oh, yeah, that really stopped me in my tracks yesterday. Okay, so let's see. Oh, the other thing I need to tell you is the... Um, the cute napkins are on my Etsy, Cinnamon Tea. Um, the link will be below the video. So if you want to get some, there's three different uh, vintage Santa napkins, a Paris napkin, and then two more nature type ones. So if you are interested in any of those, hop on over. Okay, so seven, day seven, um, was not super eventful because I did three videos yesterday. So I was in my craft room most of the day, but my husband and I went for a walk. We went to our uh, lake at Spring Meadow and look at this awesome picture my husband took. So a whole flock of geese were coming in and there's only like this little part right here is the only part that's not frozen of the lake. And they were so precise how they came in and just land. It was really cool. So he got a super picture of that. And then look, he got a picture of the swan. And it definitely doesn't do it justice here, but it is a gorgeous picture. All this snow here on the ice is all sparkly in the picture. So anyway, those are the two pictures I'm going to work with because basically that's all that happened yesterday was the walk. So um, anyway, worth documenting, I guess I should say. Hey, we got a lot done. We got lots of videos done. So um, my thought was I have this piece of fabric and this is my last little bit of this fabric, which is really sad. But um, I was thinking of using it kind of to back the photos. Maybe that's not a good use of it. Maybe I'll do it in between the photos or something and use some other, something else to back it. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, I think I can, I think I can get it all on there. 
on this little music page. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm looking at this, wondering about this for day seven, and we could do something else over there. I'm going to have to kind of Yeah, maybe like maybe like that. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to figure out something to back these. And I have I think I have some brown cardstock. Yes, I do. Right here. Yeah, I think we'll just start and we'll just go from there. I do think I want to just come right over here and do <clears throat> do another day. Okay, we're going to need the paper cutter, aren't we? So I was thinking this morning as I was getting up, getting ready, and and just thinking about this day seven page. I was thinking to myself, this December daily has been a real blessing for someone whose family, other than, of course, my sweet husband, but my kids and grandkids live away, so there's no one here to kind of enjoy the season with kid and grandkid wise um <clears throat> this december daily has just been a real blessing because it's it's given me something fun to celebrate the season with you know um and and it's kept me from like feeling sorry for myself that my kids and grandkids aren't here because I really have seen that I have I have quite a few memories to you know in a December. Granted, they're they're more friend related and things like walking at the lake with my husband and stuff, but they're still memories and they're still good memories, you know. Um, but sometimes it's easy to fall into a little bit of poor me. I don't have my granddaughters here to take to the nutcracker and that kind of stuff. But so thank you all for being on this little journey with me because I think it has been really, it's been really quite wonderful. So I appreciate you. It wouldn't be nearly as much fun without you. I'd still have fun, but it's just fun to share and it's fun then through the day and night to see your comments and and you sharing your memories and um and your thoughts. It's it's just been really it's been really good. I'm liking having a little nature in the in the mix here. This is fun. And um, a little, it'll be a little more subdued page, but there's the red doily next, so that brightens it up. So that's good. <clears throat> but yeah, so it's been a real blessing. So thank you, Emily, for making this awesome book for me. Um, I was totally inspired by a lot of your videos on making that where you were making your own. December daily journal and you know I tend to I tend to buy other people's journals to work in myself <laughs> but I don't know that might be fun to do too and use up some of my papers and things so I don't know maybe next year maybe next year I think I'm just going to put this on the page with nothing behind because we're going to be a little bit hard pressed to get to get my ducks or my geese and swan on here without having it feel too, too crowded. So, so the number can just go right there. And then 
if my picture goes over it a little bit, that's okay. Because that's okay. It makes it look less like a two <laughs> and upside down too. I was thinking about writing out Spring Meadow Lake, but I don't know if I want to do that or if I just I just want to put those on there like that. I think I'm just I'm just going to put those on there. I like having the um, music show through on the background. Just, I'm just going to put this one here-ish. Be straight. Sometimes it's hard for me to see if we're straight with the... Pretty good. Because um, I'm working a little away from myself. I was having trouble getting my camera to stay put, so I had to move my mat up a little bit from the edge of the table, so I'm kind of working with a long arm here. <laughs> okay, get my, get my geese in there. It was so kind of cool too. I had never noticed before really, but when they come in for a landing, of course they're, you know, feet first and their wing so their feet are first their wings are back and then they crane their heads forward it's it was just interesting to see their body ergonomics to you know keep their balance coming in for a landing it was just that was just really kind of cool okay so pictures are on there now i think what i want to do is take some of this and just make a little strip to put a, up above. I really enjoyed this fabric. I wish I could find some more of it. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna take the part that's got the pine cones and cut the rest off. And I think we'll just, that'll give us a little more color than just our um, black and white with the music. Okay. And yet, I want the music to still show. So that's good. Okay. I'm gonna do like a little strip at the bottom. It's gonna be a skinny little strip, but that's okay. About, about here. Yep. Okay. Do that. So, I, when I was thinking about, you know, the making of December dailies, I was thinking, you know, a person could get all your, you know, you could get your cover done and everything, but get your signature all done or multiple signatures and just leave them loose. And then you could sew in the book if you wanted to and stuff. I don't know. I was just kind of thinking of that one there um you know if if I did do my own next year I was just thinking about it but not that I've really needed to sew on the pages this but you could then you'd have the option there we go Just 
looking at my words. None of them really apply. Um, you know what I might do down here is do is do the word lake. I was kind of thinking. I put it in a pile. Grab back out my little cutoff here. Mm, I have some smaller L A K E. It's in red. That's okay, maybe. Let's just see. Let's just play with this for a second. so fun when you just have like a couple of elements that you know you want like my pictures and the fabric what a fun page you can make okay so I'm just going to put that right there and we're gonna have we're gonna have day seven in the books because I really have nothing to journal about. I mean, the pictures say it all. Geese Landing in Cool Swan. <laughs> Guess I could have used the art glitter glue for that. Well, okay. So it's a quick page, but I really, I'm liking how it came together. So that was day seven, memories on our lake walk. So thanks everybody for joining me and we will just see you next time. Bye-bye.